Rakata, Yahawa, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakak, Vadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone and salutations to the Akim out there that continue to further this ministry throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to those that are learning and listening and growing thereby as well. And, um, you know, I have an article here concerning these health passports. <clears throat> you know, as you've heard, you know, these um, political figureheads, especially if you're down here in the UK, or even if you're in the States, you know, you've heard these politicians talk about having um, COVID health passports. And with these passports, you can do the norm, such as go to restaurants, go to your shop. And for those that don't have these passports, they won't be able to do these things. And this is where it's getting down to. It's getting down to the, to the, to the level of if you don't have the jab, then you won't be able to do A, B, and C like, like everybody else can. You know, and um, that's what this individual here was talking about, or he got caught speaking about. By this guy, um, Ice Age Farmer, which he brings out very, very good information. And he caught on to what he was saying. And he really actually didn't mean to say that as of yet. You know, but that's that's really what's in the books. As Michael Gove said, another another political figurehead down there in the UK. Um, you know, he said that he don't plan on doing something like that. But they do plan on doing something like that. Because the whole agenda now is to get people vaccinated and then eventually um microchipped if necessary all right so um let's get into it it says here comes the health passports if only they were standardized uh, biometric covid 19 passport apps are popping up as governments starve of travel dependent revenue realize they cannot afford to wait for global regional or sometimes even national standards for the digital id documents next up will be apps that also guarantee that the holder has had a, uh, a crown vaccine in an editorial preparing the UK citizens and leaders for the inevitability of health passports. Tony Blair, the nation's uh, first 21st century prime minister, writes 120 nations require travelers to prove they are COVI-19 free. Uh, the next step will be mandatory vaccine documentation, he says. Blair, who started and owns outright the think tank Institute for Global Change, delves into the argument for a digital paper biometric document. What is the art is that he underplays the one issue that will put of the greatest numbers of what the passport holders trust. He writes, and the good news is that technology allows us to make this work effectively and with privacy, brushing his hands of that solved puzzle, Blair amended as he tries to explain that the passports are good and that global standards for passports are even better. So what they plan on doing is using biometrical technology with this. As it says, biometric COVID-19 passports, right? apps so they got the apps and um what you got to think about is is why is it that why is it that technology is involved in you making sure that your health is good you know why does the tech technological side of things have to merge with you getting vaccinated like what does that have to do with anything because very well as i believe is that um, through the vaccinations, somehow, some way, they're gonna lead people to, to somehow, some way be uh, microchipped and that will connect people with this, this biometrical system or technology, should, should I say, of things. And um, that's just what I see it is. So could the could the health passports be a chip, or could the vaccination itself be considered 
with Mark of the Beast. Either and or. You know, that's just what I'm thinking about at this present moment. Because what these individuals are thinking of doing, as we've heard across the board, as we've heard, especially this individual, you know, this man caught Dominic Rob saying that um, they're going to bring out these these um, required VAX passports. And these VAX passports, if you have these passports, you can do the normal thing and, and, and you know, go about your normal life, basically. But if you don't have these passports, you're going to be pretty much stuck in your home or put in some sort of um, facility and you'll be trapped. You'll be basically on house arrest. Or they could just put you in a concentration camp. Whatever they do with you. But they're going to make sure that you're you're trapped in the, in the facility of such. That you don't do what you want to do in terms of going outside. Or even getting fresh air or getting some food. You know, so. Um, something to that effect. This is what they planning on doing. You know. And they will tell you on, on television and say, well. We don't plan on doing such a thing like that. But that's what's really getting ready to go down. Because right now, as it stands through the media, they're really pushing people to getting vaccinated. Whether you're, whether you're down here in the UK, whether you're in Holland, or whether you're in the US, the medias around are, are pushing people to get vaccinated and and using so many different psychological techniques in doing such a thing, all right? And it's all going to lead to the mark of the beast. Somehow, some way, it's going to lead to the mark of the beast. And um, I want to I wanna begin and read um, Revelations 13 and 15, and then verse 16. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause it as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's how this society has been upholding itself and, and maintain, maintaining its power. Like when you read the book of Genesis 25, no, um, Genesis 27, verse 40, where um, Isaac blessed Esau that he will rule the world basically with the sword. In other words, having the ability to make these weapons of destruction. And with that being the case, they were able to rule. And who then do accordingly to what, what was required of them, of this beast, they would be destroyed. Like, for example, we you know we know of many countries that didn't correspond with America and, and just the Western powers. They got bombed, they got drone, or whatever happened to them. But they got their country decimated. So this is the same um, sort of um, scare that they're going to use or technique of a scare that they're going to use towards the people. And it's not going to just be a scare. It's going to be something that they're literally going to do. They're going to push people towards the uh, the corner. And um, if people don't comply, then basically you're going to be taken out, man. All right? Because as it says in the book of Revelations 12 and 12, the devil shall come down having great wrath because he know that what he had but a short time. So he's gonna come down and 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 show what he show what he's got to the table in terms of putting people to death that don't want to really correspond with what's going on, you know. So let's let's get into it. Verse sixteen, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So this beast, the powers that be, they're gonna do something to cause as many to worship the image of the beast, and that's taking. The mark of the beast, which is what we believe it to be, some sort of microchip. All right. Could it be the vaccinations? It could be, but personally, me personally, I believe that it's an actual microchip, which will, um, which the vaccine will make you, um, cap compatible with this microchip that they're going to give the people mandatorily. So um, let me read this again. And he calls of all those small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand or in their forehead. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark or the name of the beast 
or the number of his name. And, um, you know, as this, this guy here, which he brings out a lot of good information, he caught up to what Dominic Rahab was saying, which he's nothing more than, you know, another MP, a member of the parliament, which works with, um, the prime minister down here in the UK, Boris Johnson. And what he got caught in saying was, is, is eventually, I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing what he's saying, but he got caught in saying that if you don't have, in a roundabout way, these Maxine passports, you won't be able to basically go shopping or go to a restaurant. So it's, it's, it's like a blackmail type of thing that they're, <laughs> that they're, um, they're setting up. It's blackmail, basically, you know? So, um, yeah. It's all leading to the to the mark of the beast, man. It's all going to lead up to that. Somehow, some way. I mean, eventually, we're going to find out what the what the Maxines are, if it's the mark of the beast or not. Or we're going to find out somehow, some way. And that's the and that's the and that's time does time tells all things. So eventually, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out what's going on with these um passports and the vaccinations to see whether one or two. If it's the mark of a beast, but we know that through this time, through this 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 COVID situation, they're pushing people to get shipped, and then we know that for certainty because the powers that be, beginning with the Rockefeller family, which was um exposed by Aaron Russo, which Aaron Russo, I believe they they basically um capped him because he told all, and he went on the show of um Alex Jones back in two thousand and six, and he exposed. What the plan was, and the plan was, is for to get the people chipped all around the world, and this is what Aaron Russo exposed. And then Biden, around that same time period, this is when he was senator at the time, and he told his individual that before his time is up, his tenure is up, he's going to rule on that in terms of people having to be. Um, brain scanned and, 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 you know, implantable devices putting under their skin. I'm roughly paraphrasing what he said. So we know that basically sometime in this particular um, age, not age I want to use, I want to use a different word. In this particular period of time that we're living in, somehow, some way, they are going to bring in the chip and the chip will be made mandatory. And it would make sense that we it would be in this particular point in time because this is the most technological time there ever was so it would have to be this time so anyway that's all i got to say with that giving all of the praises to the most high and the son yahweh bashim yahushad bashim avakar kodash and um hopefully you know this um this lesson and me getting into this article you know did something for you and you saw and you got something out of this so anyway with that i say shalom